explanation. So data set I have already available with me. So what I have, I have full name, phone number, email address, LinkedIn profile, personal website, so and so forth. Cool. So I have one dummy data set with me. Let me just copy this and paste it over here. So this is my first information, first name, address, email ID, okay, LinkedIn profile and a summary of my project. Cool. Again, what I want, I want a summary of the, basically this is my career objective. It's not a summary though. So we can say objective. So in the objective, we can say highly motivated and detailed oriented Power BI data analyst with over three years or maybe if in case you have a five years, you can just add a five years experience in data visualization, correct? Data modeling, reporting, what you are performing with. So you can add your description in detail over here. As soon as you are done, we have a skills available. So I just copy this skills and paste it over here simply. So again, this particular resume, we are simplifying the process. The reason behind is when we upload this resume, any of the recruitment portal, right? That time the portal having a ATS tracking system, what they do basically, they catch the keywords and basis the keywords only, they will rank your CV and you get the opportunity or maybe, resume or maybe the interview call for the respective location, respective profile. Cool. So that's the reason we are keeping this very simple. We are not add even adding a bullets as well. Okay. I'm just now copying and pasting that data to over here because I already uh, worked upon this. Uh, copy this simple, paste it, remove this space. Professional work experience is, I will say, professional instead of professional experience, I'll say professional work experience. So it's work experience is better keyword for ATS to track this. Correct. So that's the reason I have just simply added Power BI data analyst is my work position and the, this is my company and location is so and so. This is the time and period in which I'm working with. Correct. Let's move ahead. I have done so far in the company. So I'll just have the simple sort of explanation over here. Correct. So I can use this space as well. It's a very simple and uh, plain text format resume, I would say. Cool. And then simply I'll just move again at the top. And this is my secondary work, which I worked with. Simply I'm just adding this data and adjusting the space, trying my level best to fulfill the entire details right wherever it's required though let me remove this extra space as well and then I will add simply a education this is the education again here if you could uh, carefully observe you know Again, we are not adding any uh, bullet pointers over here as well. Simply we are just adding a educational qualification, location and the graduated timeline. Simple. It's a very basic and simple resume which help ATS to track our resume and rank our CV at the back end, right? To get the interview calls at least on email. Cool. We are working in the virtual environment and this is really important that, you know, we always work smartly as Jenny I come into the picture, correct? So we need to work very smartly in terms of while applying a job. Cool. And this is the last. Or maybe John Doe, whatever name I have added at the top, which is a dummy name, correct? So I'll just say copy. Right click. Signature. Copy. 